All right, people, for our lab yesterday, I think we saw, we had a cold, we had hot, and we saw that the smoke flowed from cold to hot. Particles are more compact in the cold and less compact in the hot, and they're rising. So we saw that smoke went from cold to hot because particles are more compact here and less compact here. The cold is a high pressure system. The hot is a low pressure system. Things flow from high pressure system to low pressure system. But the question today is, do things heat and cool at the same rate? Would this also affect our extreme weather patterns, our, how wind forms? So for our worksheet today, we will write down, we have two different surfaces. We have land, we have water. So for our guiding question today, does land and water heat and cool at the same rate. So we're gonna turn on our lamps and we will talk about, we will look at our thermometers in the thermometers here. Shows our temperature, pretty easy chill lab today. These temperatures, they should be the same, but unfortunately I've already tried filming this a couple of times. So basically every, mi every two minutes, you're gonna start a timer on your iPad. And basically you'll just start every two minutes, or maybe you wanna set an alarm every two minutes, you'll write down the temperatures. So like soil, I'll say if this was two minutes, the temperature was 72. And the water was 68.7, sorry, this is 70. So every two minutes you write the time. We'll let it heat for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, great. Then afterwards, you shut it off. And let's see, do they cool at the same rate for our guiding question? So then we'll write cool here. This is a graph here. I'll put instructions how to do this up on the screen when you're ready to start graphing and plotting. So yeah, here is our, this is our worksheet for today. Remember, yeah, heat for 10, cool for 10. We're gonna write our temperatures. Do soil and water, do they heat and cool at the same rate? Does that, is that gonna affect wind patterns here on Earth? Thank you. When you are done, there you have two options. You can either work on the reading annotation while you're collecting your data, or if you have anything else on your iPad, that would work too. Okay, thanks, good luck.